we're going to go over your Charlotte's Web comprehension questions. We're going to do two pages today. We're going to do numbers one through nine because they are mostly multiple choice or short answers. So go ahead and pull those two pages out. They look like this, this one, and this one. And we're going to do them together. Hopefully you already have looked over it and written some of your answers because I'm going to go over the answers with you now. So number one, what was the pig's name who was in the pen next to Wilbur? Was it A, Homer, B, Spring Pig, C, Uncle, or D, Bob? It was C. His name was Uncle. So circle that one if you didn't do that. Number two, what was Charlotte's opinion of the pig next to Wilbur? What did you guys write? I bet you have really good responses. I wish I could hear them all. The answer key says, Charlotte didn't care for Uncle, the pig next to Wilbur. She thought he was too familiar. Do you know what familiar means? He just didn't, he was too friendly to people he didn't know. Too noisy and she didn't like his weak jokes. Remember, he was making jokes, she didn't like it. She didn't think he was as clean or as pleasant as Wilbur, and he had a very unattractive personality. That may not have been true totally, but that's what Charlotte was telling her friend Wilbur so he wouldn't get upset. So if you put something along those lines that Charlotte didn't like Uncle, she didn't like his jokes, um, then that's, that's good. You don't need to have everything that they had on the answer key. Number three, what two qualities made the pig next to Wilbur hard to beat? What did he have that Wilbur didn't have? It was his size and his weight. He was a lot bigger and he weighed a lot more. And how was Charlotte feeling during all of this? Was she A, tired, B, excited, C, full, or D, worried? If you remember, Templeton was the one that was full at the fair, wasn't he? Charlotte was getting very tired, A, tired. Number five, for Charlotte, why was the next word she would weave extra important? If you remember, she told Templeton it would be the last word she would ever write. And then we'll look at the second page. What word did she write? What was the last word that she wrote for Wilbur? And Templeton brought it back on a piece of paper, and I held up the picture and showed it to you. And it was humble. He's a humble pig. H-U-M-B-L-E. What does it mean? Charlotte said, humble has two meanings. It means he's not proud and close to the ground. And she said, both of those things are true about Wilbur. He's close to the ground and he's not proud. Number seven, what did Charlotte say to Wilbur to calm his fears over being killed when the cold weather came? This is a little trickier. Charlotte calmed Wilbur's fears because she told him he was a famous pig and a good pig and he probably would win a prize and that the whole world would be happy to hear about him and Zuckerman would be proud to own a famous pig. So if you put something about him being famous and being a good pig or Zuckerman being proud of him, then good job. You got the answer right. Number eight, what was Charlotte's magnum opus and why did she consider it to be that? Remember when she said, this is my magnum opus. She said, that's Latin. Do you remember what it meant? Magnum opus in Latin means it's the finest thing. And Charlotte's magnum opus was her egg sac. She said... She felt that her egg sac was the finest thing she had ever made because it contained her children, if you remember, who would go on to be Wilbur's friends. Um, and how many eggs did Charlotte lay? Was it A, 397, B, 514, C, 55, or D, 100? B, 514. So there you go. Those two pages went pretty quick. Tomorrow we will do 10 through 13. I hope you have a great day.